I grew up with good men. I've had good men all through my life and I've just been really, really grateful. And I always tell women that um, they are there. And my grandfather was my best friend when I was growing up. And he would, he, he would go on adventures with me. We'll catch buses and we'll go eat at street food, food stands and just have a really good time. Um, my dad was an amazing man. He just loved us. And he would every day, he would pray over us before we left for school. And it sounded really crazy at the time, but when he died, that was literally the one thing I missed. Um, and then when I moved to America from Australia, he would text me or email me every day for 20 years, every single day without fail to make sure I'm okay. And he would send me news articles and just tell me, you know, everything's going to be great. Everything's going to be fine. He was my top cheerleader so when he died it just broke my heart and but today I want to talk to you about a really personal good man in my life my husband Bobby Fox Bobby and I met when I was a vendor for um, I was his vendor for his clinic and I didn't realize but he had an issue with his order and he kept escalating and escalating it and it got to me and I didn't want to talk to him because I didn't want to deal with an angry customer but he was really insistent and he came on the phone and he came on Zoom and he was just as nice as nice can be. And at the end of the call, he said to me, hey, you know, is it okay if I call you if I have questions? So we exchanged numbers and for the next couple of years, every six or so weeks, he'll call me and he'd be like, hey, you know, I want to tell you what I'm using your product for. It's been so great. The athletes love it. I love it. Um, you're really changing lives. And it was really interesting. The thing he didn't know was every time he'd call was when I was thinking about giving up the business because it was too hard. It was, um, it, something was dragging me down. I was going through, I was going through a really nasty divorce and my life was just like, oh my God. I had left um, a marriage of 20 years and I swore when I went through that divorce, I would never date again. I would never share my life, never share my heart with anybody else because it was just devastating and heartbreaking. And one day Bobby calls me and he says, hey, I have a question for you. Um, can I take you out for dinner? And I'm like, maybe, but I'm really, really glad that I agreed to go on that dinner with him because everything I had ever wanted um, and hoped for in a marriage and in a partnership, I have now. And it is warm, it is safe, it is loving, it is fun, it is happy. Um, people who see me, they're just like, we know he's a good guy because you just smile and you always have a smile on your face when you talk about him. The best thing about him is that he lets me be who I want to be, who I think I can be, and he's my biggest cheerleader. So there are just good, good men out there. And I know he's super fabulous because he raised a good man himself. Um, our son is fabulous. And a lot of young athletes come through our clinic and they will still message him and go, hey, Bobby, can you help me with this? Hey, Bobby, what's your advice for this? So that's my great guy. And I'm really, really glad he's in my life.